In October 2021, a biker was killed after being struck on the road outside of Northampton High School. Since then, both a crossing guard and an NHA student have been hit on the same road. We spoke to City Councilor Karen Foster, as well as the school community, about road safety in front of NHS and what we can do to prevent future accidents from occurring. Uh, accidents, I've never noticed, but um, as far as people not paying attention, absolutely. It's, they don't think it's, you know, they, they don't follow the speed limits. You know, they don't. They don't see us, you know. They they don't they don't watch. It's very it's this is a very dangerous intersection. This one. I think that the town is gonna do something. Um, I know that's in the works. Um, I believe it needs to be done. Speed bumps or something, um, which is I think what they're talking about, or a stoplight. You know that would work during these hours. Plus, you'd also need a crossing guard um, because you know again. Even people don't obey stoplights. You should know that um, the city is, you know, from my conversations and, and where I'm at, taking it very seriously. And unfortunately, things move more slowly um, than I think any of us would like them to. Um, so, so far, what we've done is we were able to block off um, the parking spots on, uh, on Elm Street on Route 9 across from the high school. And that's increased visibility at the crosswalks. I know the school department was able to hire last year, an additional crossing guard. And then the city kind of fast-tracked um, getting um, a speed st a study done of the intersection there. And unfortunately, the city really can't do much more until we get that study back and um, start to look at all of the pieces that could make that intersection safer. And part of that is because the speed limit there is um, in order to change it, we have to go through a traffic study um, process, and that's by state statute. Um, and so you know, there, some of the, the things that would be ideal to, to do, such as dropping the speed limit, or, you know, I've heard about raised crosswalks or all of these the other really brilliant ideas, um, we're not able to do until we have the traffic study and then can seek the funding to make those things happen. So I, I just think it's important for people to understand that cities and towns can't change those speed limits um, under state statute. We can't do it without going through this kind of expensive, um, slightly lengthy process. Um, but I, I do know that the powers that be, including DPW, police chief, mayor, people are committed to improvements and making it better there. Um, and at the same time, I know that that doesn't really help the people moving through that intersection twice a day right now. Like I, I know that it doesn't feel safe and I'm, um, you know, I, I, I hope that we're able to make those changes before someone else gets hurt. It's, it's really, um, it's really hard to know that that situation is happening. Although big changes can't be made in the immediate future, remember to stay safer on the roads, especially with the ice and snow. Thanks for watching.